Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas. We are using item number four of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Kara drew a polygon with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Which of these could be the polygon that Kara drew? All right, so we're going to use this graph draw feature. So it pops up down here. We're going to extend it out a little bit. And we are going to increase the transparency uh, just so we can, we can see a little bit of the problem behind there. You know what? We can go ahead and shrink our grid size make kind of small like that because watch if we're wanting to draw some things we could use this connect line feature and that's going to let us draw some straight lines and since we're dealing with shapes that have straight lines let's go ahead and figure out these out so what is a rhombus all right so a rhombus is going to be a shape here now i'm going to try my hardest to make them equal uh, and if they're not we're just going to have to pretend that they are. A rhombus is a four-sided shape, and it has four equal sides. All right, so that's probably pretty close to a uh, rhombus. Unfortunately, you see I, I hit something else. There's no erase feature. There's no undo button. So if I wanted to reset it, I'd have to just use that reset in the top left, but that would erase everything. So I'm just going to leave that little extra dot down there. So a rhombus is a quadrilateral, that means a four-sided polygon. It is a parallelogram, okay, which means it's got two sets of parallel sides. And the special thing about a rhombus is it's got four equal sides. So that's a rhombus. You know what else is a rhombus? A square. A square is a special type of rhombus. So I'm looking for one pair of parallel sides. Well, parallel means two lines that never touch. I always think of the two L's in parallel. Uh, the two lines that are equidistant apart. And you know what? This has got, here's a pair. But, let me change colors here. Here's another pair. So unfortunately, it's not a rhombus because it's got two sets of parallel lines. I want one set. All right, so let's go back to our connect line. Let's see what we have here. Parallelogram, okay? Uh, so there's a lot of different parallelograms, a lot, a lot, a lot. Most of us, when we think of a parallelogram, kind of think like this. Kind of diagonal, kind of long and skinny. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Something along these lines. This is a parallelogram. So it is... Uh, a quadrilateral, it's a four-sided polygon, and obviously uh, we've got two sets of parallel sides, that's what makes it a parallelogram, and two pairs of, I'm going to use the abbreviation there, the mathematical symbol, parallel sides. So uh, this is a parallelogram. You know what else is a parallelogram? The rhombus that I just drew. And unfortunately, we can't use this as our answer because it's got one pair of parallel sides, two pair of parallel sides. All right, so let's keep on moving. Trapezoid. All right, so when we're thinking of a trapezoid, typically we're kind of thinking like there's a few different types of trapezoids. They don't have to have two slanted lines. Like I can make it like this. This is a right trapezoid. Or we could kind of do it like this if we wanted to. That's more of a traditional trapezoid. But it is a quadrilateral, and that's it. It's a four-sided shape. It does, it's not a parallelogram. It does not have two sets of parallel sides. It only has one set of parallel sides, which, guess what? That's what we're looking for. Here's my sets of parallel sides, the two bases, but that's it. The other two are not. Same with this trapezoid. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we know what a rectangle looks like, and it is a parallelogram. It has two sets of parallel sides, so we can't choose it. So my answer is C.